Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Thursday 11th of October. I'm recording this video just gone 7 in the evening New York time on Thursday New York time. Here's our first daily wave count. Although the first and second wave counts have around about an even probability, I would not want to assume that we have had a trend change while price remains above 1380.39. Our second daily wave count now looks at the possibility we've had a big trend change, but we should always assume the trend remains the same until proven otherwise. So this would be my preferred wave count for that reason at this stage. This correction is too large in terms of duration and price movement to be a fourth wave at green degree. It's probably a fourth wave at blue or minor degree. And so far, it's unfolding as a fairly typical looking flat correction, with a 3 down, a 3 up, and a 5 developing to the downside. It's extremely likely that C pink will make a new low below the end of A pink. To avoid a truncation, we have a good probability for the one point target zone calculated today. When C pink is complete, we'll redraw this channel from 2 to 4 and a copy on 3 and expect 5 blue to end either midway or at the upper edge of the channel. And for the first daily chart, it must make a new high above 1576.09. Let's have a look at what happened on the hourly chart, where the high for B blue up here is this point up here. So here's our 3, 3, 5 downwards, looking like a typical flat correction. B is over 90% the length of A, but it's less than 100% the length of A, so we're expecting this is a regular flat, which expects a C wave to be around about equal in length with the A wave. That would be achieved at 1427. I've adjusted the analysis today within the C wave to see the third wave extending, which is most common. So within C pink we have 1, 2, Within the middle third wave, one, two, and the middle of that, an impulse. Here's our first fourth wave correction. Second fourth wave correction unfolded during Thursday session. And the final fifth wave down looks like it's begun, and it should have an extended third wave within it. At 1428, wave five green will reach 2.618, the length of one green. That's just one point above our pink target calculation. So this target having been calculated at two wave degrees and these numbers extremely close by has a really good probability. It should be reached during next session. Once it is reached the invalidation point no longer applies and we will expect upwards movement for a final fifth wave. Our first daily wave count expects that fifth wave to be long and extended in duration. Alternatively, it is possible that we've had a big trend change if we're seeing a leading diagonal unfold to the downside, but we still have absolutely no confirmation of this trend change. We should not expect that this is correct nor rely upon it, while price remains above 1380.39. We need to see this channel breached in the first instance with clear downwards movement, and then this price point breached with downwards movement to have any confidence at all in this second daily wave count at this stage. I was expecting a fourth wave correction. It moved a bit deeper than expected and took most of the session. The last fifth wave down to end that C wave has begun. I expect we'll see a bit more downwards movement tomorrow to complete a five wave impulse for C pink and then we should expect a trend change and upwards movement. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis, and I hope that members are having an awesome day.